Hey guys, what's up? So we have gameplay of Stoffel Van Dorn at the Bahrain Grand Prix circuit. So this is obviously after um, a few days ago um, from what actually happened in the real Bahrain Grand Prix. Uh, Stoffel Van Dorn actually did very good. So let's cut to the track and see how well we can do. Sixteenth place, just ahead of Pascal Verlein and just behind Roman Grosjean. We have two runners in front of us of Julian Palmer and Kevin Magnussen. So we're going to go off to a pretty decent start. So we're going to get in the slipstream of Magnussen for a moment as he pulls to the inside. So we're going to take it down the outside, see how well we do. As Magnussen just charges straight through there. I don't know how well that's going to make for him. He's going to be stuck on the outside with Ericsson going to force him a little bit wide. So we're going to go a bit slow. We've lost a bit of ground in the first corner, just trying to keep our nose clean. I think Pascal Verlein is going to get stuck with Bayheim, Verstappen and Palmer as well. So we're going to take our chances with Magnussen. We're going to slowly creep up the inside as Magnussen comes in very, very hot. So he's going to be very compromised on the exit as we go past three cars, which is that's uh, pretty decent, um, to be fair. We'll have a look around the outside of Danny Kvyat, which we actually make into the corner. So we are now behind uh, Sergio Perez. But the funniest thing is, that wasn't the first attempt um, at the start. So what happened with the first attempt, I'll put it on screen now. So slightly different, we're just going about our business, coming into the first corner. We're going to break, and then we're just going to get absolutely demolished behind by one of the Salbers. So I'm not exactly sure what happened. I think if we have a look, we're going to see, I think it was Pascal Verlan at first. But then I think if we look on, we're actually going to end up seeing, um, I think it's Felipe Nazar just clatters into the back of us, destroys his front wing and his front tyre and our rear tyre. So we inevitably collect, I think it was one of the Toro Rossos and the Williams. But we're moving on now back to the actual race. We can actually see Nico Rosberg and a Ferrari going slow and funnily enough that's actually Kimi Raikkonen as well. So the two cars that actually did the best out of the two teams in the Grand Prix actually ended up crashing out on the second lap but anyway so we're going to have a look into this tight section we're going to make a move down the inside of Sergio Perez we're going to go wheel to wheel we squeeze him out give him a mm, little bit of a hand up in uh, the mirror to say come on that was a bit close but we have now caught up to Nico Hulkenberg on the next lap so the four seniors doing better than they did in real life which is good to see so I'm going to pull up very very close to his gearbox that beautiful green helmet of his shining away as we're going to possibly make the same move on Sergio Perez, we're a lot closer and we're actually going to make it, but that was pretty clean from uh, Stoffel Van Dorn there. So that was a pretty two good overtakes in the same corner as well, so that seems to be our favourite move of the day. Moving on to the next lap, we're actually in pursuit now of Valtteri Bottas. Uh, just ahead of him is Felipe Massa, so that is sixth and fifth place. So we're looking good at the moment for fifth place, which is obviously an improvement on, I believe it was tenth, I'm pretty sure it was tenth. So then we're going to go to the left and then switch to the right and chuck it down his inside. Instead of making the move out, you know, our usual corner where he might try and block. If, you know, he got on the radio and said, oh, Van Dorn's making this move in this tight section, look out for that. But at the end of the same lap, we're coming to the end of the same lap now, we're in pursuit of Felipe Massa. And the best thing is as well, we are going to have DRS on a Williams. Are we going to overtake a Williams via DRS? That's a Mercedes engine against the Honda powered engine. He's getting it away a little bit, but we've got to wait till the DOS kicks in. Oh, he's going to absolutely storm past him. Thank you very much, Felipe. Have that. So, McLaren overtaking a Williams. That's fantastic. I don't think we're going to be able to overtake many better cars in a straight line such as that. But that's pretty much all the action up until the end of lap six, which is our pit stop window. So, we're going to come in to the pit lane. Um, there's a few teams out, actually. I believe it's um, Sebastian Vettel Lewis Hamilton with their pit engineer, we've got Daniel Ricciardo who just comes out ahead of us, so that's kind of a pain, unfortunately, you know, he didn't have a, a longer stop, so we possibly could have got ahead of him and gained some ground on him, because I believe he's the car that is ahead of us, I think it is Carlos Sainz and then it's Ricciardo, anyway, so we're coming down the pit lane, we don't know where it stopped, we didn't get jumped by um, either of the Williams, which is decent, our teammate Jensen Button trundled around in 8th place, so it, as long as he finishes, you know, it's an improvement on what actually happened in the real race, so Good old for him. So we're going to come on to lap 8 now. We're going to actually see where we filter out now. Because hope we had uh, Carlos Sainz um, ahead of us. We could see he's just coming up the pit lane now. So we're actually going to um, overtake Carlos Sainz in the pit stop phase. So that is good for us. We're going to get a decent decent run 
through this corner and Ricardo and I believe it's Hamilton not that far ahead. Sergio Perez is leading this race at the moment because he hasn't pitted yet but we're looking good. I don't know if we're catching Ricardo or it's just because they're scrapping. If they're scrapping then you know we could possibly take both of them but I'm not going to hold my breath on that just for the fact that you know it's Hamilton and um, Ricardo. Coming on to the start of lap 10 now, we've caught up a little bit more to Ricardo and we set the fastest lap of the race, which is fantastic for us. Hamilton's gone away a little bit from Ricardo, so we're going to have a pretty big lunge from there, trying to get as close as we can. We're going to pull a bit of a wide line, but we mess up um, coming into the apex there, so we're going to lose a bit of speed. We didn't get the desired effect of going wide as you'd usually get, but we're going to glance up right up to his gearbox try and get great traction out of this corner just to hold off any chance of him getting away because we need to overtake him if we're going to get on the podium so coming into our favorite section or sector of the race we seem to be doing pretty decent move we're going to go all the way to the left we're going to lunge from so far back we're going to lock up on the marbles he's going to actually get past us so our second favorite trick doesn't work so the only thing really left to do is can we make our favorite party trick we're going to work we're going to almost touch Almost, almost touch. We're going to have DRS. He's going to have better acceleration because he's in a Red Bull. Side by side with the Aston Martin logo on the side of the car. We're going to squeeze him so much so half of his car isn't even on the racetrack. But we're going to get that through. We're going to hold that position pretty, pretty well. And unfortunately, that was nothing else happened. Hamilton and Vettel bolted. We kept Ricardo behind us. He didn't even try and overtake. So I'm going to come in to the last corner. We're going to come down the home straight. And we're going to actually bag third place. So we're going to drag a podium as we go left and right on the circuit in celebration. So that is a pretty big improvement on um, what actually happened in the real race. But nonetheless, Stoffel Van Dorn did a fantastic job um, to get McLaren's first points. So that is a fantastic thing for McLaren that to be able to have. We'll look at the rest of the results now. Um, it was uh, Vosberg and Raikkonen didn't finish. And sadly, Carlos Sainz didn't finish either. But good old um, Rio Harrianto in last place. At least that's reflective of... Um, how poor he is in real life but nonetheless the only issue I have with this is that for whatever reason it slipped my mind to put Van Dorn's helmet on the actual 3D model so we're going to see Fernando Alonso getting out the car um, in the podium place essentially so at least you know you get a bit of Fernando Alonso and stuff with Van Dorn oh well that's not been about too, uh, too bad of a race it was pretty fun um, until the next video guys I'll see you then bye